Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Hyam, Technical Editor with Microwave Journal, and I'd like to welcome everyone to this installment of Eye on IMS. Uh, let me start by introducing our guests, and I'm pleased to have Jasmine Grossinger, IMS 2023 Women in Microwaves Co-Chair, and Jonas Urbonis, IMS 2023 Young Professionals Co-Chair with us today. Uh, so Jasmine and Jonas, can you tell us a little bit about how you each became involved in uh, women in microwaves and young professionals activities at IMS? Oh, yes. Yeah. So at IMS 2022 in Denver, Gail and John, the chairs of IMS 2023, approached me and asked me to join the team on co-organizing Women in Microwaves event. And of course, I immediately agreed to this opportunity, in particular since 2020, I'm involved in the subcommittee of women in microwaves of the IEEE Microwave Theory and Technology Society. And there it's our goal to create a network that attracts, attracts, scales and connects women in our society. And working on such activities at IMS will help us build this network and grow the network. I've been attending IMS for a number of years, um, but I've never volunteered in any way, shape or form. So what I did is uh, I reached out to a young professional community in San Diego. A few of my friends are part of that community. And I, um, I asked if I could volunteer this year. So that's how I got involved with the planning for this year. That's excellent on uh, both your parts. Thank you for that. Uh, in 2023, you've planned a joint panel session. Can you give an overview of the panel topics and speakers? Oh, yes, definitely. Jonas, if I may, then I'll start yeah. first. Okay, cool. So at this joint panel session, which is the first of its kind to have a joint panel session of young professionals and women in microwaves, we will feature female industry representatives from big companies and also from startups that will discuss their careers and uh, they will give young professionals uh, ideas on how to champion the industry. Uh, panelists will be women in leadership, as for example, Wendy Shu, the CEO at Erewhont uh, based in Los Angeles. Then we have the general manager from Maori Microwaves, Sataya Batman Banan, and uh, also an IT senior manager from Qualcomm, Teresa Burke. And she is actually the San Diego chair of the Women in Engineering Society. Uh, we also have some young professionals speaking at the event like uh, Shirin Montazzari. She's also uh, the co-chair of Women in Microwaves for IMS 2023 from Google. And then we have Maddie Frank. She is from a San Diego based startup at the Fabrics Aid Lab. Jonas, you have anything to add there? I was just going to add that this is going to be a, um, a very good panel session for the young professionals to attend and to listen in on what's, uh, what it takes to champion the industry and to learn from these women in leadership positions in these various companies and to hear from, from them. So this is going to be a very good event. Definitely. And also maybe to add here, this event will take place at the Young Professionals Pavilion on first day uh, at 2 p.m. And we hope to see many of you. Yes, I, uh, I took a look at the list of speakers and it's a very strong roster that you've put together. So that should be a great session. Uh, in addition to the panel session, what other activities do you have planned throughout the week for women in microwaves and uh, young professionals? Uh, the overarching theme for the young professionals this year is the um, is entrepreneurship. So in addition to having multiple technical talks sprinkled throughout the week, we uh, will also have two panel sessions where we have invited uh, a set of startup founders to talk about their experiences in um, going from an idea to securing funding uh, for the business, then launching a business, growing a business, and then for some of them, what were the exit strategies? So those would be uh, very interesting panel sessions to attend. Uh, then also, uh, just as last year, we have a uh, young professionals uh, reception on Tuesday in the evening, and that's with drinks and food. So that's uh, an informal setting for the young professionals to 
to mingle, to network, etc. And new for this year, we have the um, Young Professionals uh, Sponsored Early Career Paper Competition, which aims to celebrate an outstanding early career researcher uh, in the field of RF and microwaves. Sounds amazing. Uh, on the women in microwave side, it's we will continue to have our traditional social cocktail party on first day at the headquarters conference of IMS 2023, which is the Hilton Bayfront Hotel. There we start at 6.30 and we will feature some social networking opportunities, games, snacks and beverages. And of course, we are looking forward to meet you there. Well, it, it certainly sounds like both of you and the organizations you represent have very full slates. So I'm sure you're both looking to a, a very productive show. Um, so Jasmine and Jonas, uh, anything else you'd like to share with us? The only thing I have to, to say is like, uh, please join us at our incredible events. We are looking forward to seeing you in San Diego. And as you know, San Diego is the coolest city under the sun. Yeah, I second all that. Yeah, excellent. That's a, the uh, Chamber of Commerce would be proud of you, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to meeting both of you. So that that's great, uh, and I would like to thank both Jasmine and Jonas for joining us. Uh, I'd also like to remind everyone that registration for IMS is open, and early bird deadline is May the 12th. So please go to ims-ieee.org uh, forward slash registration for more details on that. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs>